Thank you for choosing a Murray water heater. We are certain that you'll be very happy with your purchase. This video is intended as a guide to assist your plumber or electrician with the installation of your new water heater. First, you should identify an appropriate place to mount your water heater. It should be mounted vertically, directly to the wall, with the water and power connections at the bottom of the unit. Hang your water heater securely to the wall using the instructions supplied with the unit. The hanging instructions will be slightly different depending on which model you have, but you should be sure to mount it to a secure location. Use wall anchors if you aren't able to hang the unit directly from studs. Be sure that the unit is mounted securely to the wall. Do not supply power to your water heater until all the plumbing is complete. The water connections on the Eco 110 and Power Pack models are half inch MPT and on the Santon are 5 8 inch. Each unit should be connected to the water supply using appropriately sized braided stainless steel appliance hose or directly to copper. Make the plumbing connections using stainless steel hose or copper. Use Teflon tape as necessary to ensure a good seal. We recommend that you install a valve at the unit supply so that you can turn off the water supply to the unit if needed without shutting off the supply to the rest of the home. Recommended water pressure will vary depending on the model that you have, so be sure to check your homeowner's manual to confirm the correct PSI. After the water connections are made, you should turn on the hot water tap and purge all air from the pipes. Do not supply power to your water heater until all the plumbing is complete. Turn on the heater to flush out the lines and purge all air from the system. Once water is flowing consistently, check for leaks and correct as necessary. If water pressure exceeds the recommended maximum, a pressure relief valve must be installed. At this time, power can be connected to the circuit breaker. Each unit should have the exclusive use of its breaker. The Santon unit will require either 40 or 50 amp breaker, depending on which model you have, and 240 volts. The power pack is either 110 volt or 240 volt, depending on the model purchase, and can be operated between 10 amps and 40 amps. The higher available amperage, the higher you can set the heat. The Eco 110 is a 240 volt unit and requires the exclusive use of a 50 amp breaker. Connect the power to a dedicated GFCI circuit breaker. These units must be grounded. Once power is correctly connected, you can switch the breakers to the on position and turn on your water heater. You are now ready to begin enjoying endless, instant, and energy efficient hot water from your new Murray heater.